Hello all, welcome back to your English class. We have now gone through the chapter Discovering Tut. The saga continues written by A. R. Williams. We learned how mysterious was the life of King Tut and the untimely death of the king. We also saw the events that followed. Now let us discuss the questions in page number 28 of your textbook to understand the text better. In the first set of questions, you are asked to give reasons for the statements given. Let us move on to the first question. King Tut's body has been subjected to repeated scrutiny. Answer King Tut's body has been subjected to repeated scrutiny because right from the time of the discovery of his tomb in 1922, by Howard Carter, the modern world has been curious to find out what happened to King Tut. He died as a boyish pharaoh, leaving behind numerous mysteries associated with his death. So various investigations from discovering his remains to excavating his body and studying it under the CT scan. All these were done to find out the medical mysteries of his death. Hence, King Tut's body has been subjected to repeated scrutiny in order to know more about his life and death. So moving on to the next question. Howard Carter's investigation was resented. So what is the meaning of the term resented? It is actually a kind of negative feeling which we regret or to have a feeling of anger or bitterness. So Howard Carter's investigation was resented because he destroyed the original state of the mummy. The major joint of the body to raise King Tut from the coffin. They then reassembled the remains on a layer of sand in a wooden box and put the body back. So to separate the mummy from its adornments, Carter decided to remove his head and break nearly every major joint. Due to this investigation, uh, he caused a great damage to the mummy. Hence, his decision was resented. Moving on to the next question. Carter had to chisel away the solidified resins to raise the king's remains. Why? Answer. Carter found that the ritual resins had hardened. The result was that Tut's body had been cemented to the bottom of his solid gold coffin. So proper force could not move the resins. So even the scorching sun failed to loosen the resins. So he got the resins chiseled away to raise the king's remains. Let us look at the next question. Tut's body was buried along with gilded treasures. So answer. King Tut's body was buried along with gilded treasures because in that time the king was very wealthy and people thought and hoped that they could take their riches with them in their journey after death. Hence, King Tut was buried with all the things that he used in his daily life and the things that he would need in the afterlife. Moving on to the next question. The boy king changed his name from Tutankarten to Tutankhamun. Answer. The boy changed his name because he wanted the restoration of the old ways. His ancestor Amenhotep IV had shocked the country by attacking a major god Amun. It was a time of unrest. So the boy tried to establish the old faith by renaming himself as Tutankhamun which means living image of Amun. I hope the answer is clear. We are moving to the second set of questions. So they have asked you to list the deeds that led Ray Johnson to describe Akhenaten as wacky. Let us look at the answer. Ray Johnson described Akhenaten as wacky because what he did was nothing less than a crazy thing in those times. So he promoted the worship of eight and the sun disk to change his own name and move the religious capital from the old city of Thebes 
to the new city of Akitatan. Now, known as Amarna, he further shocked the country by attacking a major god Amun by smashing the images and closing the temples. So, he was described as a wacky person because his reign was a horrible time. I hope the answer is clear. We are moving on to the next question. So, what were the results of the CT scan? So, we know that King Tut is one of the first mummies to undergo a CT scan. So, the CT scan came up with some new clues about the life and death of King Tut. It provided precise data for an accurate forensic reconstruction of King Tut. The CT scan displayed the mummy from head to toe, creating 1700 digital x ray images in cross section. So it showed a grey head, neck vertebrae, a hand, and several images of rib cages and a transection of the skull. So we got so many details. And these were the results of the CT scan. Let us look at the next question. Now they have asked you to list the advances in technology that have improved forensic analysis. So to point out today diagnostic imaging can be done by computer topography or CT. So in CT Hundreds of x-rays in cross-section are put together like slices of bread to create a 3D image of the body. So the scanners can even scan an intricate structure by scanning it in thin slices. Hence, this change in forensic analysis has helped in discovering the mysteries behind Egyptian mummies. Moving on to the last question. Explain the statement King Tut is one of the first mummies to be scanned in death as in life. So, this is one of the important questions. King Tut was the last ruler of a powerful family that had ruled Egypt for centuries. He came to the throne when he was not even a teenager. So, at a very young age, he contributed tremendously in restoring the past glory and the old ways. However, he met a very early death in mysterious circumstances when he was just 18 years old. So, since the discovery of his tomb in 1922, the modern world has speculated a lot about him. His mummy was the first one to undergo a CT scan. Hence, in life as in death, he has been the attention of all. So, I hope it's clear. We will discuss further in the interactive sessions. Thank you all.